afternoon, frog fans. It is a Wednesday. Is it only Wednesday? Ugh. I don't know why I say the dates on this because they're never up when I film them. Anyways, for me, it's a Wednesday. For you, it's either a Sunday or a Saturday. So, happy weekend to you. It is getting very close to Christmas, and today I'm going to show you with a little bit of hesitancy how to strip a reborn doll kit that has been painted with heat set paint. I don't know if this method works on Genesis heat set, so don't. I wouldn't recommend trying this on the Genesis heat set because I don't know if it works on that, but I know for sure that it works on the acrylic paints that I have. This is the type of acrylic paint I have that this doll has been painting with, painted with. It's the Reborn Effects air dry series so what you're going to need to do this is some nail polish remover I have some 100% acetone nail polish remover you're gonna need a place to do it so I'm doing this on my desk you might want to do it in a bathroom or a kitchen but for video purposes I'm doing it in here I have a tub of water here that we're going to need some sponges Something to something that might be a little bit abrasive, mildly abrasive, nothing that's going to scratch the vinyl, but something a little bit tougher that will help take the paint off, and something a little bit softer, a little more absorbent that might help sloshing the nail polish remover on. And you're going to want some gloves, some sort of gloves, latex free, anything that you prefer, because you don't want to be putting nail polish remover all over your hands. And you will get it on your hands if you're not wearing gloves. So this works very efficiently and I'm kind of scared. I have two bottles. This one's like almost empty. I am very, very scared because I am very proud of this doll. I don't want to strip her, but I am going to make the switch after Christmas, I'm going to make the switch to Genesis Heat Set, and I want a practice doll. Therefore, I'm going to strip poor baby Addison to use her as a test doll for the Genesis Heat Set. So I am very scared, and you're going to come on this journey with me while I face my fears. I'm going to do it someplace not important first, so I'm not sure... If you're going to be able to see this, I'm going to play around with some lighting here, so bear with me. That's not any better. Let's try this side. Okay. Hmm. So yeah, that's not really better. So I'm just going to go back to this lighting. So, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but... Oh my god, you guys, I'm so scared. going to take a tiny bit of elbow grease, but I can already see the paint loosening. Sorry if the camera's rocking, I'm like bending over in an odd position and I might be bumping it. So it might be a little bit tougher at first. This paint is quite a few months old. You can see some color coming off on the cosmetic wedge, and you can see the paint loosening. You might want to bend the vinyl a little bit to get a better angle for it. So this is where I'm going to move to the more abrasive sponge because this is giving me a difficult time. When stripping an entire doll, you are going to go through quite a bit of nail polish remover. I'm just warning you right now. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's taking the paint right off. Alright. No going back now, guys, because there's bare vinyl. Yeah, you can see that right there. That is bare vinyl. <sighs> Poor little girl. So, you're just going to want to do that all over the entire doll. I'll take pictures to show you better. So, 
you're just gonna want to do that over the entire doll. I might film a little bit more, jump in the time lapse maybe. Okay, so one thing that I do want to tell you is do not, absolutely do not try to use this as a correction method. So if you're just, if you've done something a little bit too dark on the doll and you're trying to correct it, or you're just trying to take a layer off or there's a small spot that you want to correct and just take a little bit of paint off, do not use this. I tried that and it ended out terribly because it took the paint right off. Which is what it's supposed to do. So you might need to give it a little bit of elbow grease to get it going. I would suggest not getting this type of bottle because it has the whole pump thing and it's just really hard to get out. Another thing you're going to want to make sure you do is get into the creases of the doll to get all that paint out, and I might bring in a paintbrush to aid me with that in a little bit. So this is what I'm talking about as um, something softer and more porous to get the fluid on. You use that, just dust it all over the doll, slop it on, and then sort of wax on, wax off. Almost like you do when you're putting the paint on the doll, only this is taking it off. And then you go in with the more abrasive sponge to try and get it off. Some spots are going to come easier than others, especially if they're darkly painted, heavily painted. You also might want to open a window, which I think I might have to do because the fumes are getting really strong in here. Alright, so I'm back with a little brush, and I'm just going to crack open our new bottle because it's going to be impossible to get anything out of this with that brush, so... Feeling a little bit woozy, so I opened up the window. So if you can hear some sound coming, like some ruckus, it's because there's construction right across the street. So where are we on this limb? going to go down into the crease. I'm just trying to get all that paint out of there. Because if you're truly stripping the doll, and for reasons like me, to repaint it completely with a new medium, you're going to want all the paint off. And then you can go in with the tip of something to try and a little bit more off and as you're doing this you're going to get like some debris some paint debris debris sorry twister reference one thing that this channel is full of is movie references and something that I resorted I'm resorting to now and resorted to last time was just plain out brushing it on. So the brush you use for this, you'll want to be like a brush that you're not that fond of, one that you don't want to be using with your painting, because obviously if this stuff takes the paint off, you can't use it to paint a doll because it's going to have some very bad reactions with your paint. And as we go along, how much do you see here? You're about to see a little bit of mess up there. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, off to the side there. Sorry about that. That's a shoe rack. So we're going to take this foot. It's getting some crusties and some yuck on it. And we're just going to shake it in the water, get all that off. And there's still some little cruddies on there, but we can get those all off later. All right, another thing is 
this is going to be time consuming. There, you're not going to see the entire process of me doing this because I might have to break this up into a few days because there's it's taking way too much time and I have other things to do tonight. Story of a high school student. You always have something else to do. Okay, you guys, so I just found something out. Something about the paint, whatever these gloves are made out of. I no longer have the package, so I can't tell. Something about the paint, and this is having a very bad reaction, so I'm going to have to take these off. So I would definitely be careful with what kind of glove you're using, and I know, I know we don't want to be going into this without gloves on, but I'm kind of being left with no choice at the moment. You see that? It's like taking dye off the glove or something. It's not going to like absolutely poison you or anything, but you probably don't want a whole crap ton of it all over your skin, so don't try what I'm doing at home. And while we're on disclaimers, if you're a minor, definitely get your parents to help you with this. I should teach what I sew. I'm a minor and I'm doing this without a parent's help. I'm barely a minor, okay? In a week, a little over a week, I'll be a legal adult. I still feel like a complete child, you guys. <laughs> you know, I play with my dolls. I obsess over, you know, Harry Potter and vampire movies. I'm still a I'm a preteen. I'm just one big preteen. Who am I kidding? Legal adult. I'm just the world's. Well, maybe not the oldest preteen. Maybe there's other people like me. Maybe somewhere out there there's other people like me. Alright, so. This was just a demonstration, this wasn't the whole process. I'm going to keep doing this, but I'm running out of time. On my memory card, I'm going to take some pictures for you guys, but this is where I've gotten so far. This has been with about, I don't know, 10 minutes of work. So, I hope this video is in, um, ah, informative for you, and I hope that my tips work for you and the only thing you have to do when you're done is make sure you wash the doll off really good because you don't want any of this left on when you repaint it so thanks for watching please like and subscribe share this video with your friends and keep living the froglings life okay, sorry guys i know the video already ended but just brief teensy little update it was not in fact the gloves that caused the problem it was the paint on the hand the factory painted handle of this paintbrush that was causing the problem with the dye leaking so I'm going to get another pair of those gloves that I have, and the problem should be fixed, so definitely be careful of what kind of brush you use, and I would suggest using a brush with a plastic, non-painted handle.